go to their safe spaces, and I'd love to trigger people. Um, let me ask you something. Do you hate Americans with black skin color? Uh, absolutely not. I actually love Americans with black skin color so much that I'm willing to fall on the sword a thousand times for them to wake up and realize that we are being lied to, abused, and used by the Democrat Party. How about Americans with white skin color? Do you hate them? I do not, and that's a problem for people on the left. Majority. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ms. Owens, I'm going to direct these questions to you, if I may. Uh, I don't know that you've seen this, but it's a memorandum that the majority uh, Democrats prepare for uh, the committee members. And in this memorandum, they uh, go through the various witness names and present uh, the Anti-Defamation League, Equal Justice Society, the uh, uh, Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law, and then we get to you. Oh my goodness. Candace Owens, Director of Communications at the Conservative Nobody else is described as progressive or liberal, but you are described as a conservative advocacy group, Turning Point USA, and a conservative commentator and political activist known for her criticism of Black Lives Matter and the Democrat Party. Um, I, I think you've caused my friends on the left to, to go to their safe spaces, and I'd love to ex uh, explore with you a little bit of the reason for that. Um, do you consider yourself a conservative? I am a conservative, yes. Okay. Are you pro-life? I am pro-life. Okay. Does that trigger, trigger people when you see them, that they know that you're pro-life? It makes them very upset, and okay. Democrats hate me. Uh, do you own a gun? Pardon? Do you own a gun? No, sir. When next time you come to Colorado, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll take you shooting. Are, are you a Christian? Yes, I am. Uh, are you proud of your family? I'm very proud of my family. Okay. Um, let me ask you something. Do you hate Americans with black skin color? Uh, absolutely not. I actually love Americans with black skin color so much that I'm willing to fall on the sword a thousand times for them to wake up and realize that we are being lied to, abused, and used by the Democrat Party. How about Americans with white skin color? Do you hate them? I do not, and that's a problem for people on the left. Do you hate uh, Hispanics? I do not. Do you hate uh, uh, Asians? I do not. Um, do you hate lesbians or gays or anybody from the LGBTQ community? Nope, I've got all of that in my family. <laughs> I'm baffled because in the chairman's opening statement, he said that you openly associate with purveyors of hate. Yes, um, purveyors of hate by his definition is anybody that supports the president. I support the president because he's done a tremendous job in helping the black community, despite all of the rhetoric from the media and leftists, so, which do so, not want him to be successful. Tell me a little bit about how the president has helped the black community, if you would, please. Well, he's lowered the black unemployment rate. It's the lowest it's ever been in the history. Uh, he's getting us off of our feet. We see, uh, I believe the last number I checked was 3.5 million people are off of food stamps, something <coughs> that the black caucus sat down and didn't applaud, neither did any of the Democrats applaud, uh, because they want a system where blacks are dependent on the government. Uh, they, they are the people that put in place the policies that broke down the black family. And the biggest problem that's facing our community is father absence. Um, in every room that I've been in with the president, he talks about real issues and he doesn't pander to us. He doesn't do Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's southern drawl accent and speaking to us like we're slaves. He asks us important questions. And the most important question he could have asked was, black America, what do you have to lose? Because we were already losing under Democrat leadership. Do you, do you believe that you openly associate with purveyors of hate? I absolutely do not. I have, I have no tolerance for hate whatsoever. Do you believe that college campuses should be open uh, discussions, uh, or there should be open discussions on college campuses for various issues? I absolutely do. You know, I do a campus tour tonight. I'm flying up to University of Connecticut to continue that, and we are being met with uh, aggressive <coughs> leftist groups. Uh, three Antifa chapters have declared they're going to try to shut it down, and uh, we face this violence every day on the left, and nobody ever wants to talk about it. And I, I guess what I was going to ask you, um, you, you went on to explain it before I got a chance to, but have you ever been disinvited from uh, uh, speech opportunities at college campuses because of your conservative views? All the time. Um, and, is that a form of hatred, do you think? Of course it is, and we're not talking enough about political hatred in this country. We're not talking enough about conservative activists being attacked, like myself. Uh, we had a student whose dorm was set on fire uh, for being a member of the Turning Point chapter, and all we preach is for free markets and capitalism as, as a means to lift the most people out of poverty. That is my belief, and of course, my main thesis is that black people do not have to be Democrats, and we are not owned by the left, and I understand that that causes some people trouble. So, 
as a conservative, you've attended many conservative events and, and uh, visited with many conservatives. Um, and I, I am not denying for a moment that there are white supremacists and we should condemn white supremacists, that there are Nazis and we should condemn Nazis, uh, that there are hateful groups all across the political spectrum and we should condemn those. But in your uh, interactions with conservatives, have you seen hateful speech, uh, bigotry, race among the conservatives that you've associated with? Um, I, I speak in front of conservatives probably three times a week. I jump on a stage and I say everything pro-black. Um, and they are so supportive and they applaud. All they want is for black Americans to realize that they are Americans first and foremost. Conservatives are patriots. The president is a patriot and I'm a patriot. And there is no skin color in patriotism. Thank God we have you. Thank you very much for being here.